Hello, welcome to Switched On Gaming, Paul speaking, and today I'm looking at a game on the Nintendo Switch, it's Crossy Road Castle. A um, bit of weird information on this, I thought it was out on the 4th of October, but apparently it's been out since September, so who knows, but uh, I've been in quite enjoying this one, but I think it comes with a massive caveat that if you are picking this one up or considering this one, I would really only recommend it if you're going to be playing it multiplayer. So I'll just take you through some of the, the levels uh, and what this game is. So it's a bit of a mismatch, really, of different genres. It reminds me a bit of um, Super Mario Maker, a bit of Ultimate Chicken Horse, uh, a little bit of Bubble Bobble, a little bit of Rainbow Islands, if you're familiar with those old classic games. So it's a right old mix-up of stuff. So... The main premise of the game is to uh, get through each level. There's like these different floors of the castle. Each of them may have a little puzzle to solve, like a little environmental puzzle to unlock a door or unlock a platform. Um, there's lots of different things. The levels are reasonably randomly generated as well, so you do get a different experience each time, which is quite nice. But I'm currently playing the straightforward single level uh, mode in which you get three lives and you just have to get as far as you can. I think there's a hundred floors and there's various bosses uh, on, at certain floors. You can, after every 20 floors, refill your hearts as well. You start with three hearts, three lives effectively uh, and can refill those for coins. It makes a very amusing noise when you die. It's like you've cracked yourself. Um, but yeah, the single single solo mode is more about figuring out how to get through each level there's no real time so there is a sort of speed run element to some parts of this game but not in the single player mode you're not timed you're not against the clock you can see in the top corner i'm just collecting coins collecting tokens to unlock stuff um and the, the 20 levels are generally themed as well so you normally do 20 kind of themed similar levels so this one for example i've not done this one before but it's quite clear that it's kind of based around oh god it's based around <laughs> lighting up these platforms to unlock uh, something on the level so normally an escape door so you'll do 20 levels like this and then move on to sort of the next theme for the next 20 levels so this is kind of solo player mode get as far as you can with the free lives that you've got collect as many coins as you can uh, and there's kind of unlocks at the end of that so that's single player mode if i show you the more interesting multiplayer mode so multiplayer mode is really where it's at in this game so you need to work against work against your team i'd say but you also all need to sometimes work together so basically you've got similar sort of levels so they are themed um but this level's more about making it to the exit so at least one of you needs to make it to the exit uh, to complete the level if you don't if you all die in the level you'll lose a, a life so you'll lose a heart there is as, as well places where you can refill hearts every 20 levels so you can spend 100 points and get a heart refill but yeah this becomes a lot more chaotic and a, a lot more fun because you're kind of willing your teammates on now don't think that there's a communicate button now oh there is an emote button um so yeah it's more about your teammates getting to the end of the level and you're kind of working together on that Let's get to the end. so yeah so if you press x you get an emote doesn't seem to be a lot there i think you can unlock more in the sticker book ah! Again, these levels aren't timed or anything particularly. Again, it's more about seeing how far you can get, what, how many hearts you can collect, uh, coins you can collect, getting the highest score, that kind of thing. There is other modes in the game, which I will show you in a second, which are more competitive. So they've got leaderboards, and there's also a, what looks to be a monthly event. Hey, I was supposed to exit. One thing I would like in the multiplayer mode is if you kind of got, you know, if it was more of a race, so you did kind of get extra points for being the first to the end of the level. 
doesn't seem to be that. So here's a, or every 10 levels is a heart refill. So you just stand on the pressure pad. Fill up the hearts, and away we go. I quite enjoyed the multiplayer game, it's quite fun. Wish it was a little bit more interactive. And again, it's probably, you're gonna get more value if you've actually got online friends, rather than just playing against randoms. One really good thing as well is it is totally cross-play. I think it's cross-play on every platform. And this is out on every platform, including iPhone. Uh, so it's very much cross-platform. So I've not had any problems finding um, multiplayer games to play in the full, full lobbies four players but yeah that's the multiplayer games if I show you the um, other modes the timed modes just before we get to that I'll show you the unlock stuff as well so it's quite a lot to unlock so you've got this challenge tab at the top this shows you the current monthly challenge at the moment it's uh, themed on Among Us which is pretty cool I'll show you that in a second uh, here you've got some gacha machines so you can unlock um, new characters, new hats, stick your coins in there, get a little pot out, so I've got a new hat, put that on, there's loads to collect, you can see here in the collection, so there's 60 characters, 102 hats, uh, 149 stickers and 50, I think that's secret doors, the little green gems, you've got these different levels here that you can unlock as well. Uh, and then as I say for each level you've got lots of unlocks as well so you've got a sticker book here different achievements so leaving 50 enemies alive got a sticker for that you can fill up the book and it's got multiple pages so yeah plenty to do uh, and then as I say in the settings there you can turn crossplay on and off as well as among, uh, among other stuff so it's pretty cool so let's have a look at the the challenge mode or the event that they call it I quite like doing this it's more of a speed run mode as I say there are leaderboards so you can view them at any time. I'm a bit dubious about some of the times on there, but, but there you go. Um, and I, as I say, I really like this, and I hope they do more. I don't know if they've done more in the past, different sort of indie games or different themed games, but say so this one's based on Among Us. So this is a, a speed run, and if you've played Among Us, certainly the graphics will be familiar, but the sort of premise of this is you're either a crewmate who has to do tasks, so like there, I had to jump on that block to fill that green bar up. Or you're an imposter and you have to kill your teammates. Now you get time off of each level. So every coin you collect or every um, task you complete, every enemy you kill or crewmate you kill as an imposter gets you reward time. So it all helps towards your total time. This task is pressing these buttons in alternating fashion. And avoiding killing my teammates that will come at a penalty you can see it on the right hand side the, the time you've got for each level so this one i'm an imposter but i've got no crewmates to kill so you can see it's pretty quick to to whiz through the levels the this challenge mode is 20 levels uh, and that's sort of the run ah, the run complete after 20 levels is my record time I've had a few goes at this my record time is 4 minutes 34 but I think I could do that much quicker it's probably working out how to be efficient as well like, is it worth killing those enemies versus rushing to the end so that's pretty cool so yeah you get through these 20 levels um, you've still got hearts you can lose but um, I don't think I've died during this challenge mode so it's more about getting to the end in the quickest time getting a place on the leaderboard still get a load of unlocks and stuff for the coins you collect so it's pretty cool so that's the the last mode in the game as i say overall i quite like this as a quick sort of um as i say in, in that vein of sort of warrior wear or uh, mario maker especially if you've got friends online i think you can get value out of this it's 17.99 in the uk which feels a little rich for what it is uh, I do believe it's free on Apple on Apple Arcade so you got to weigh that up as well probably one to stick on the wish list unless you really have got friends that you like playing competitive online stuff with and, and having a laugh on a game night 
Um, but for me, it would be one that I would stick on the wish list and get it when it's kind of half price. But it's a fun enough game. It's really nicely made. Graphics are, are really nice and there's some nice effects. Runs really well. Online's pretty flawless. I've never had a problem online. It runs without issue. No lag or anything, which would be an absolute killer in this game. So that's good to see. But yeah, quite like it. Crossy Road Castle. Um, as I say, stick with your wishes and uh, let me know what you think. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop me a like and subscribe if you did. And I uh, hope you all have a nice week and I will catch up with you later on. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.